And uh, thanks, Greg, for not spoiling the, the intro. I just found out that Apple is giving away the new iPhone for free. That's the big announcement. At this point, you can completely focus on what I have to say because there's really nothing else interesting going on in the world after that. Um, listen, uh, I'm really excited to be here today. This is a fantastic event. Um, great crowd so far. Uh, and I'm really proud to be able to introduce you to BPM Online. Uh, as Greg mentioned, my name is Matthew Tharp. I'm our chief evangelist. And BPM Online, for those that don't know, is a global CRM and process automation provider uh, that's, that's global and worldwide. Uh, we've actually been recognized as a leader in every major CRM category by Gartner and Forrester. And we're supported and we're just incredibly proud to work with uh, financial organizations all over the world. We have a really powerful platform. Um, we do something really unique in the market. I know that's really amazing for somebody to stand up here and say in the CRM space, but I'm going to back that up today. Because unlike almost anyone else in the, plat in, in the entire space, we combine a unified CRM from marketing through sales to service to account management all on a single platform. So none of these kind of cobbled together clouds. And we've done the one thing that I think most CRM systems are really bad at, and we do it exceptionally well. And that is we actually automate your business processes incredibly simply. So we've got this really, really powerful platform, really powerful automation in a simple, easy to use package. And the only way I could think of to demonstrate that in seven minutes was to try to do it by myself while doing this presentation. So that's what I'm going to attempt to pull off here. Just kidding, I practiced, I know it works. Um, but this is it. It's an incredibly powerful platform, and uh, I'm going to attempt to do as much as I can in the remaining minutes. So what you see up here on the screen, just to quickly uh, orient you to what you're looking at here, uh, is a fairly standards-based user interface. Uh, it follows best practices where you have the uh, navigation on the left, you've got all of your prioritized workflow in the middle, and then over here on the right-hand side, we have this skinny little panel that has a couple of great icons that allow the end user to know exactly what's going on in the system at any given time, like this one right here that is telling me that I have a call. Now, when I click this, we start to, serve, we start to solve the first problem, which is what happens when a call comes in from an outside person, and you need to know exactly who it is and what processes you need to kick off at that exact moment. So what we've done is we've brought up every single thing that you need to see in one, in one single place, including what are the next best actions. So any user anywhere, whether that's, in this example, we have um, a branch demo. So this is for like a banking organization. So anybody in the branch, anybody in the customer service organization, potentially somebody in marketing, can pull this up and see exactly what's going on with the user at a glance. And if they wanted, they could kick off any new process. If the person wanted to open a new credit card, they would be able to kick off that process right here. If they wanted to open a new account or possibly a new application, they could do that right from this panel. And the user who's on the phone with the customer has everything they need to know about the customer at a glance. And in the event that the customer is in the middle of a process, and we know that this is the real challenge, right? It's great to just pull up information, but what if that customer is in the middle of doing something with somebody else in your organization? Yesterday they got off the phone, you want to pick it up where you left off. Well, you click this button right here, and we put that right at the top. We can see they have a case and an application going on. And as you see right here, I can see instantly where they are in the process, what step they're on, I can see what uh, is the next best action. And so the customer has called in, now I need to get their approval. And if I want to complete this step, I simply click this, hit save, and I've completed the process. You see that it's moved on. And then this is going to alert whoever I need to alert in the organization automatically. And it's the automatically part that I think is really special. Because it's the automatically part that's driven by this. It's a visual design flow in the application that allows really any business user, it doesn't have to be a code or programmer, any business user to determine what the process is, modify that process, and potentially automate it, including adding things to the process, like a new alert that happens at a, di a different decision point, and then configuring that alert by email or what have you. Very simple, easy to configure, and we all know that with CRM, one of the biggest challenges is change management. 
One of the biggest challenges you have is figuring out what your process is, how you want to modify it, and then deploying it. And one of the ways that we've solved that key problem here is by making it possible to modify and execute a process that changes the application behind it. So it's not a design tool separate from an executable, it's all one thing. We know that the three biggest problems and biggest challenges that organizations have, and this is true whether it's financial or otherwise, is they need a clearer picture of the customer, they need to solve the manual broken process problem, and they need to try to find a way to align the organization. And the best way to do that that we've seen is around the customer information. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close the process that we were in the middle of. This takes me right back to that customer that we were talking to. You can see I have everything at a glance that I need, including we can configure this a couple of different ways. If I wanted to highlight uh, a visual dashboard, I can do that. Or, and I think that this is probably the most powerful thing, is in one view, I have the entire customer history, every email interaction with every customer, every case, every lead, any document, anything that we need to know about this customer is on a single history tab. And it doesn't have to be, and this is, I think, the part that gets overlooked when you start trying to unify systems is that I'm not the only person that's gonna need this. So if you look up here, I could switch to our marketing application. Again, this is a unified CRM. Here we've got campaigns, we have emails, we have everything else that we need, and you'll notice the customer view didn't change. I could switch to supervisor view, I could look at this from any other perspective in the organization, and we're all gonna see the same Alexander Wilson. That's the power of unifying a system of unifying around your customer data, and it doesn't all have to live in BPM Online. We can actually connect with all your third-party systems and orchestrate to unify not only your processes and your teams, but align them to the customer as well. This is the best way we've seen to actually solve the customer experience challenge. I know it's a lot to try to pack into seven minutes. I'm really grateful that you gave me the time and the bell. And uh, thanks so much. If you have any more questions, come see us at the booth. Thanks again.